it is sanded to 600 grit, but a lot of the white rot areas have not been repaired. We're kind of trying to go for a blend of styles here. I tend to sand a moderate amount. Since this is a collaborative spalting piece, we really want to see some of what the spalting has done to the wood. And you'll see that, so this is um, sycamore and it has large rays. You can see the ray flecking. And here you see that white ray. So a fungus was in there, took out the lignin. There's a lot of white rot through here. And again, up through here, you can see those bleached rays. Look at something like this. You can see there's sound areas and rotted areas all within this zone line. The sound areas probably won't uptake the dye quite as nicely as the rotted areas. I don't know if it will uptake it at all because this is sycamore. So we have a lot of experimentation to do. We also have a lot of pigments to use. Right now, today, we're only going to be using our base three. So we have our red, which depending upon how concentrated you make it, is a red, a pink, an orange, or a purple. We have our yellow, which again, depending upon concentration, is a yellow, a brown, or a light green, or sometimes a purple. And then we have the blue-green of Chlorosaboria, which can be blue or green, depending upon how concentrated you make it. I'm going to be using pipettes to put it on. I prefer to use pipettes. Other people use brushes. These came up and over. So we move around over here. You can see it's come over onto the inside. I still have to move all the colors onto the inside. The bowl is rather thick so they're not coming through like they normally would. So the next step is going to be the yellow.
perfect. <laughs>